Hello everybody, it's Bernadette Simply Be Art in Cape Town. Let me show you how I did this beautiful soft yellow pastel colored multiple bloom on canvas painting. I uh, used a regular house paint in this painting and acrylic colors that was mixed with a bloom pouring medium. So I use a regular acrylic a low sheen house paint that I mixed with a tiny bit of water just to make it more fluid. It's very gloopy when it's in the can and um, it needs to be nice and fluid so that it moves nicely across the canvas. Now I don't cover my canvas fully. You will notice that I leave the edges bare of paint because when you blow your puddles and when you spin your canvas the paint um, naturally goes over the edges and if I'm going to cover my edges at this point I'm just going to be wasting so much paint by having it all being spun off the canvas so this helps me to gauge how much paint I already have and so that I don't over flood my canvas it's just something that works for me so once I'm done leveling out the pillow paint I would pop the air bubbles that come up to the surface and this is the only time that I pop the air bubbles so I'm laying down my colors I'm going to do a deconstructed bloom background on this painting first before I lay down the bloom puddles again so I'm starting with the yellow ochre and then the Tuscan yellow and the Tuscan yellow is going to be followed by a sunshine yellow and I'm only using these three yellow colors uh, for my uh, deconstructed bloom background. My cell activator is a white and a black uh, cell activator. I use uh, Amsterdam paints in titanium white and oxide black and I mix that with uh, Australian Floetrol in the ratio 4 to 1. So my next step is to use my blow dryer and stretch out the cell activator across the colors. My hair dryer is always on a high speed, um, on a cool air setting, and um, I really push the air pressure into the puddle, into the center of, a of the puddle, to spread out the cell activator to create nice, beautiful cells that we can stretch out later on. So I'm first doing that with all three puddles and then I'm going to stretch out the puddles to create the deconstructed bloom. Now with the deconstructed bloom background, there's really no uh, formula or right or wrong way that I blow up my, uh, my puddles. I'm just wanting to create a background here. So I spread it out from the center outwards. I'm creating uh, petals. But those petals are soon going to be spun out. And once it's all spun out together, you will see what a beautiful background it leaves on my canvas. And that background is, uh, you know, the perfect uh, backdrop for the bloom puddles that I will put on top. So um, I'm going to leave you just to enjoy this blow out and then I'll check you in a little bit. I'm going to give the canvas a couple of spins in both directions to spread out that uh, deconstructed bloom across all the edges. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to just fill up the edges now with some of the extra paint, um, just so that the stretching or the spinning does not overstretch that backdrop. 
so I'm just filling in some of the gaps right now um, you don't have to do this uh, the spinning will automatically spread that paint across the edges but I just like to add the paint at this point so that I don't overstretch my my background um, my deconstructed bloom background And I'm so amazed at the, you know, the results of that blowout. And this painting looks so beautiful as it is right here. And I'm so tempted to leave it as it is and let it dry like that. And so I'm stepping back. I'm looking at it once. I'm looking at it twice. And I really have to make the call. Do I do a bloom on top? And yes, I do. I take out extra puddle uh, um, paint for my pillow I'm laying down a new bloom uh, puddle and I'm going to add some extra colors to it and I'm starting with the gold metallic and that is going to be followed by a, um, a yellow ochre and then I'm going to top it up further with some burnt umber uh, just for a contrast color and uh, that is pearl white that I'm laying down on top of the burnt umber and I'm going to follow that up with some green yellow as a beautiful complementary color to that softer yellows in the background I'm adding some of the yellows to this as well. That's a sunshine yellow. And I'm finishing off the puddle with the white and a tiny, tiny bit of black cell activator. The black cell activator is very powerful. It can take over your bloom. So be very careful with the black. So I'm uh, spreading the cell activator across the puddle once again, as I usually do. And then I'm going to be stretching that out once those cells have gathered I give it some time to develop um, and while that is developing I will lay down the next puddle I'm only going to do two puddles on this canvas I will see how it looks when it's blown out So I'm getting ready now to blow out those petals of the uh, bloom on top of the uh, background. I'm hoping to get six petals in each of the blooms. I'm stretching it out with a hairdryer. My hairdryer is kept at an angle, um, making sure that I'm able to move that paint um, quite a distance with the pressure of the hairdryer. Um, and... Uh, as I'm blowing it out, I'm looking at my composition, I'm tweaking, going over some of the ends of the puddles and stretching it out a little bit more. And I'm really blowing it uh, from the middle uh, first and I'm really liking what I'm seeing. It gets another few spins to stretch it out and once that is done, I will clean off the edges, the underside of the canvas, clean off all the drips. And then I'm going to bring you down for a closer look. So um, I'm using a, uh, that is a skewer stick that I use to pull the paint from the outside to the inside just to define those bloom petals and making sure that I'm counting six petals in each one of those blooms. Now um, pulling in the uh, bloom 
the paints from the outside to define the blooms is something that I've been doing for almost a year now. I started pulling it on my coasters and then I did it on my Dutch balls and now I do it on my blooms and I really like that it separates the petals in the bloom. I'm giving each bloom petal now a little bit of a wispy edge also using the skewer stick. So you can play around with your blooms um, and create some nice interesting detail as much or as little as you want. So if this is the first time watching my channel please consider subscribing. I have a long playlist of all my other blooms. I will put the link at the top for you now. Please go and have a look at it. They're really great uh, tutorials, great to learn from um, and fun to watch as well. So thank you everyone for being here once again. Um, I really appreciate your viewership. I will talk to you and see you on the next video. So take care and stay well. Bye for now.